What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps crush that YouTube algorithm and it's totally free. So look, man, the day of reckoning has begun in Indiana, bro. And just like I predicted when we found out that we got a new president, I told y'all Kelly wasn't playing no games. She's a proven winner. She came in and she fixed things. And she makes sure her teams make it to the playoffs. That's what she do. And I'm here to tell you, Lynn Dunn is no longer the general manager of the Indiana Fever all this went down about two days ago. The Indiana Fever organization took to their to their ex, formerly known as Twitter account, to drop the groundbreaking post right here as I present to you guys displayed on the screen. They stated that we now have named Amber Cox as chief operating president, I mean operating officer and general manager. So look, guys, it looked like Lynn Dunn is out of there, man. So now we have all speculated as general manager could be coming to an end. She has been under a microscope this entire 2024 season, not just her, but head coach Christy Sides as well. Now, the next question before we dive into this article to look at exactly what is going down, what is going to happen with Christy Sides? What is going to happen now that we know Lynn Dunn, um, Christy Sides' love, who went to bat for her, is up out of there? Now, since her obligations is gone, what does that mean for Christy Sides' future with the organization? That is the question everybody wanted to know, man. And she could be next to be demoted or terminated as of right now. We don't know. But this is the official statement of the Indiana Fever. It's being reported that Indiana Fever named Amber Cox, Chief Operating Officer and General Manager. You know what I'm saying? And she will officially join the organization in October the 20th of this, this year, obviously of this month, um, and it has announced that Lynn Dunn, um, the Fever current GM, will no longer be the GM. She'll move into the position as a senior advisor to Fever basketball. Indiana Fever president stated this, and I want to present to you guys the article. I have known Amber for over 20 years and have watched her successfully build teams both on and off the court, said Ke Kelly Crisscroft who had joined the Fever last month as the team's president for business and basketball operations. She brings a wide range of executive experience to our leadership team. I look forward to working with her as we build the Fever franchise into the next era of growth, family. I told y'all Kelly coming in and she's standing on business, man. Miss Thanos with the snapping fingers. Get the hell out of Dodge, bro. We setting this thing on fire. I told y'all Kelly was going to come in and get his team a major facelift, man. This is exciting to see. I know Kelly and Clark and a fever got, got to be a little bit nervous because things is changing. But at the end of the day, change is good, man. Especially dealing with what we've seen last year. They need this change. This article goes on to say... Cox has enjoyed significant success on both the basketball and business sides of various WMEA organizations. During her, during her time as chief operating officer of the Dallas Wings, Cox led the day-to-day -day operation and oversaw ticket sales, partnerships, marketing, communication and broadcasting, and community efforts under her leadership. The Wings established the franchise best marks across key business metrics in 2023 and 24. This season, the team recorded seven sellouts and played at a 97% capacity at college park center now we all know this season was different but we're gonna let her get this one off bro now amber cox went on to say this to reporters um two days ago i'm excited to be joining the fever during this historic time in the WNBA, and i'm grateful to kelly fever ownership and mel reigns for this opportunity said cox from the top down there is a commitment to invest in the fever to ensure the team's continued growth and success, I look forward to contributing a world-class experience for our fans as well as our players both on and off the court. And I'm telling you right now, they getting in a bag, bro. They cooking up something in Indy, and they finna change the landscape of the WNBA, starting with their franchise because they got the biggest athlete in the world, bro. Now, Kelly, the president, did open up about her current situation with Lynn Dunn. Um, she says, I can't thank Lynn enough for the years she gave this franchise coming out of coaching retirement and returning to oversee the basketball operation at such a pivotal moment, time of, of transition. Say, um, Chris Croft, I have such gratitude and respect for her, man. Look, Lynn Dunn is moving into senior advisor role and ending her time as a general manager. Amber Cox, the former VP of sports for the Connecticut Sun, who has also worked with the Dallas Wings in Phoenix, is becoming a new GM. 
Now, Lynn Dunn has also broke her silence about everything that has been transpired two days ago. And she stated, I agree to do the job for two years. I also provide um, Pacers Sports and Entertainment with the three-year plan Dunn shared when she asked about the world interim being a part of her job title. If after two years we're on track to accomplish what we wanted to do, we will be we will be willing to stay on for a third or fourth year or whatever they need to, need to do or need me to do. My job is to bring stability to the franchise. Now have planned to do what needs to be done. That was Lynn Dunn speaking about this entire situation, man. And now look, like I stated before, bro, we don't know the current situation of Christy Sides. She is the topic of the discussion. She's going to be in the headlines pretty much the next couple of weeks with the demoting basically of Lynn Dunn and being Lynn Dunn being replaced. Now we know Christy Sides, that was her homegirl, Lynn Dunn. And what's going to happen with her and this new GM, that is going to be a very interesting conversation. But moving on to another story, let's have a flashback moment of Lynn Dunn speaking about this year's obligation to the 2025 season. Check the audio out, family. Be available for a trade or that they might be available in the free agency and that they would love to play with Clark. The one, the only, she is Lynn Dunn. She's been with us every Wednesday here for the past few months. We have thoroughly enjoyed the conversations and she's in. Lynn, is there a, and I don't know, it's probably a stupid question. Is there one moment when you look back on this season and you'll think of that maybe more than any other uh, uh, other things? Well, I think it's probably the, the, the first home game in a total sellout. I mean, people are hanging from the rafters. I've, yeah. I've never seen that at a fever game. You, you know, and you've got all of these uh, um, young kids and, and girls and boys and adults, you know, uh, covered in Clark jerseys, and I'm like, Wow, what is going on? So just a moment there of thinking, hey, this is not going to be like any season we've ever seen before. I guess last one from me, um, increase in games next year. Are we going from 40 to 44? Is that is that official? That's official. As far as I know, uh, I, I think it's more than a recommendation, and I think that's good for the growth of the league. So uh, we're looking forward to having those extra games. We, I know we are at home, but we sell them out and on the road too. <laughs> so that was a little bit of an audio of Lynn Dunn. Um, she also has stated, I think you guys know that Kelly Crisscroft has come back, and I don't know if she's coming back. She came across the street, she said, over um, back over to the Fever to help them move forward with the franchise at this unbelievable moment. So Kelly will now be in charge of the business side and the basketball side, and she will be making the decisions, and she will be negotiating with Kelsey and her agents. And I can assure you that I'll do everything, you know, like she has stated, um, to keep Kelsey Mitchell, uh, and that's the biggest off-season priority is what Kelsey Mitchell, period, and it isn't, and it isn't an easy answer. Um, so with that being said, family, that was Lynn Dunn before she got demoted. But, guys, get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep those bells on, family. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're already part of the family, I appreciate you for rocking me because you know I'm going to bring you the news. Let that love supersede the hate. Spread that peace, love, and positivity. Until next time, family, peace.